artistas, this is Miss Polly's y bienvenidos. Tengo una pregunta muy importante. What makes you, you? This can be a difficult question to answer as we're all different and unique. There's not just one part that makes you, you. There are many complex intersecting layers that make up our identities. Things such as our appearance, beliefs, values, and actions all play an important part. Para este proyecto, we will discover the layers of our identity in creating a self-portrait. Vámonos! Let's learn more! Hoy, we will discover, describe, and illustrate the three layers of our identity. By the end of this art project, you will have created a self-portrait drawing that answers the question, Who are you? ¿Quién eres? Nuestras identidades are complex and layered. To begin to understand the different layers of our identity, let's use this manzana as a metaphor. The outer layer of our identity is like the skin or peel of an apple. This is how we look and our physical appearance. This includes our hair, race, age, height, clothes, etc. It's also the first thing someone notices about you, and it's often how strangers perceive you. The next layer is the flesh or la pulpa. This layer represents the things that you like to do and your actions. This can include your interests, talents, skills, ability, language, and more. Others can begin to uncover this layer through casual conversations and interactions with you. This is often how acquaintances, classmates, teammates, or teachers might know you. Finally, the innermost layer is your core or tu centro. This is what you think and who you are deep down inside. This includes your thoughts, beliefs, values, culture, religion, traditions, hopes, feelings, and more. This layer takes time to uncover and will only be seen by close friends and family. So how can we represent these layers in a self-portrait? Un autorretrato is a work of art of an artist made by that artist. Una artista who is well known for exploring her identity within her self-portraits is Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo was one of the most important artists of the 20th century. She was born Magdalena Carmen Frida Kahlo y Calderón on July 6, 1907. Her mother was Mexican and her father was German. She grew up in Coyoacán on the outskirts of Mexico City. Later, in 1925, Frida was in a bus accident. Because of her injuries, she was confined to her bed to recover. It was during this time that she turned to painting. In her paintings, Frida often explored her identity. In fact, 55 of the 143 paintings she completed were self-portraits. Let's take a look at one of Frida's paintings to see how she portrayed some of the different layers of her identity. This work of art is titled Self-Portrait on the Borderline Between Mexico and the United States. How has Frida represented her outer layer, or piel, in this work? Describe her appearance and what she looks like. Next, let's begin to uncover how she's represented her flesh or pulpa in this painting. What actions, interests, talents, skills, or languages has she displayed? And finally, let's take an even deeper look. How do you think Frida's visualized her core or centro? Remember that this will be the most difficult part of her identity to see. But what thoughts, beliefs, values, cultures, traditions, hopes, or feelings do you think she's expressed in the self-portrait? Like Frida, many of the parts of our identity intersect and overlap with one another. This is also known as intersectionality. Kimberly Crenshaw coined this term to describe the way in which multiple forms of discrimination intersect with each other. So what is discrimination? ¿Qué es? Discrimination is defined as the unfair treatment of a person based on part of their identity. Have you ever seen or experienced discrimination? How did it make you feel? Nobody should face discrimination, but sadly, it does happen. 
It's important to be able to understand what to do and say when we see or experience discrimination. Here are some tips of what you can do. Keep in mind that safety always comes first. If it looks like someone might get hurt, leave and get help right away. Speak up. Tell the person that their behavior is not okay. Be sure to get support. Find a teacher, parent, or another trusted adult. Remember to check in after. If it was someone else who was being targeted, be sure to ask them how they're doing. If it was directed at you, be sure to find a friend or family member to talk to about your feelings. It's also important to document if you can. Be sure to keep a record of the situation, either through a camera in the moment or by writing down what happened after. Recuerda that there is power in your voice and actions. Everyone can say and do something to help. We are all different. Focusing on what makes each of us special and unique is muy importante. We all deserve to be treated with fairness and respect, no matter what layers there are to our identity. Now it's time for you to start reflecting on your own identity. Begin by writing about your outermost layer, tu piel. Describe what you look like, your hair, skin color, age, height, clothes, and more. Then begin to reflect on your next layer, tu pulpa. Think about all of the things you enjoy and like to do. What are your actions, interests, talents, skills, abilities, languages spoken, and more? Finally, look deep down into your core or tu centro. What is it that you really think? Reflect on your beliefs, values, culture, religion, traditions, hopes, and feelings. Think about how you can visually represent all of these different details within a self-portrait drawing. You can see how I represented my outermost layer, mi piel, by drawing what I really look like. For my second layer, mi pulpa, I wrote about how I love teaching art, so I included my virtual Zoom art class on the computer and drew an easel by my desk and added a painting smock. I also enjoy running, so I included my favorite sneakers. The hardest layer to visualize is your core or tu centro. I'm Puerto Rican, so I included an image of La Playa on my canvas. I also believe in equality and justice for all. So I made a poster that says, Todos son bienvenidos aquí. Familia is also muy importante, so I made sure to include pictures of them hanging on my wall. Ahora es tu turno. In your sketchbook, empieza by describing each layer of your identity in writing. Describa tu piel, pulpa y centro. Then think about how you can visually represent and draw details from within each layer in your self-portrait. Or you will just be quickly sketching and recording your ideas. Nothing will be final just yet. Well, I hope you enjoyed unraveling the layers of your identity. And I can't wait to learn more about you. Para próxima clase, we will use our observation skills to begin drawing our self-portraits. Recuerda. There is so much more to who we are beyond our appearance. It's important that we not judge others based on what they look like. Just like the layers of an apple, it takes time to get to the core of each individual. Until next time, adios artistas.